He's on the Mount Rushmore of great Georgia linemen, Matt Stinchko. I realize I'm the last to go, and I was reminded as I came up here, my son said, run. <laughs> so I'll be brief uh, and just try to sum up. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. I'm kidding. Um, a lot of people to thank. I'll do it quickly. Um, the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame, uh, Jim McClendon for his uh, leadership. Mrs. Uh, Emily Parker Myers for her leadership, obviously the ability to secure uh, that building and the place that this uh, institution has in the city of Macon in the great state of Georgia as a Georgia native. This is not something that I would have ever anticipated being a part of. I'm very grateful to the selection committee and the leadership. I'm grateful to be included in uh, the company of my fellow inductees and all the inductees uh, that have come before us. Uh, the idea that there are two sport athletes um, like a Tom Glavin, uh, like, um, like a Joe Hamilton, a guy who's a, a Heisman Trophy candidate, could have gone to Clemson. That's another reason to hate Clemson. He ended up going to Tech, wrecked my senior year and beat us in 1998. It's not important tonight, but I thought I'd bring it up. Um, but to be included in their company is uh, a tremendous honor and I'm very grateful for it. Um, we all have, I think, a few things in common. Um, we had uh, maybe a little bit of God-given talent. We had work ethic, something that, that Tom Glavin spoke about. Um, but we also had people that believed in us. We had parents that supported us, parental figures that supported us, coaches and teachers that supported us, that believed in us maybe in times when we didn't even believe in ourselves. And that is the fuel that propels anybody to any level of achievement. We have coaches, sports writers, people in and around the sports world recognized here in this body, not just athletes. And I think that speaks to the environment that has to exist for anyone to have any high level of achievement. Coach Goff is here tonight. Coach Goff brought me to the University of Georgia. I'm grateful to him for that opportunity. I'm grateful to Chuck Mize, my head coach at Parkview High School, who believed in me before I believed in myself. To Steve Brando, my first rec football coach, my first coach in any organized sports, my dad. Uh, the greatest coach that I ever had is my stepdad, J.R. Johnson, who taught me how to have fun in victory or defeat, who taught me that, uh, that sports can play a role in your life, but it's not the most important thing in the world. It can be an undergirdment for the rest of your life, but it doesn't have to be the central point of your life. Probably one of the best coaching moments I've ever received. I want to thank my family for being here tonight, my wife Jenny, uh, my three kids, Janie, Addie, and Whit. I want to thank you all for your support here tonight for this institution. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for um, your attention, and uh, I pray that you all have a great night. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.